Hi everyone, it's Doris Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand and I'm here today to share with you um, what I have um, created for uh, this giveaway challenge and this giveaway challenge is a 700 subby giveaway challenge well I'm sure it's way over 700 now but that's that's the title of it Seven, 700 subby giveaway challenge and the challenge is hosted by Seriously Scrapping in, in Australia and that's Irene um, now originally the closing date was around the 28th of October but um, Irene feels that, she, um, that she, she doesn't have enough entries in so she would like to extend that um, to the 28th of November my battery's flashing so I hope it, I hope it actually lasts this whole thing okay so moving right along there what you have to do you have to make a fabric album page um, and the size of the fabric album page has to be nine inches by nine inches okay so those ladies who work in centimeters millimeters and centimeters will be able to look up on um, on a chart conver conversion chart on, um, on on the internet okay no bright colors so, uh, basically Irene wants neutral colors um, and you can put accent colors of um, you know pale colors like pale pink or pale blue I guess and pale peach colors and you know just pale tones nothing bright or garish and only accent using the colors don't make the color the main the main thing okay so without further ado um, I'll show you now this is a, a fabric page with a little bit of a difference because oops because um, Irene wanted us to put um, on the back of the fabric page she wanted to us to um, create a pocket and put inside the pocket a tag uh, with our information on like um, our YouTube channel name um, I think our address maybe our Facebook name um, our email address that kind of thing information so that she can you know have that to use for giveaways in the future um, so this is mine I've basically I've made my um, as I always do with my fabric pages I made it with unbleached calico um, or unbleached cotton whatever you want to call it and um, put a wadding of polyester which is actually the stuff I'm I'm using to uh, in the background this is here I'm just laying it on top of that so that's sandwiched in between two two layers of this um, I've created a pocket using a large doily placemat and this is the corner of it here and that actually I've used also to go through to the front to create the point on this page um, that's the other thing that Irene wanted on the page she wanted um, dangle trims down the bottom um, if you've got them or other things like gathered laces and things like that um, okay so this is the oops you can always see they need ironing once you've got them on there um, that's the corner of it I've used and I've put this around which I believe actually comes from Irene probably her shop and zibbit um, she has a shop on zibbit seriously scrapping and she's got 50% off sales so that's half price everything half price and her prices are cheap anyway so run on over there ladies it's on zibbit seriously scrapping okay so around here I've put this cotton crochet lace I haven't put it around this side um, and as I say this is the pocket oh down here under here I've got um, this lace here which is also on the front and that's tea stained so I go back up here again it's quite a large 9 by 9 by the time you've embellished it it becomes quite a large piece okay so this is I'm, I'm not really good at making tags my scalpel scalpel knife um, or craft knife is a real cheap one and it's the, bl the blade is really blunt and rusty so I'm gonna have to replace it maybe Father Christmas will hear that 
So I'm going to write my particulars on the back here before I post it and this is the front. This paper that I've used actually comes from um, in a little gift from my little young 10 year old friend uh, Naomi. She's Angie Craft. Uh, Angie, Angie, Angie Creative Scrap on YouTube and she's over in France. So she sent me that this is one of the papers that she sent to me recently. Um, and I've just put CP around there and I put a nice bit of seam fabric, seam, seam binding and just put that in there. I might put some little pearls on there, I don't know. So anyway, lovely old fashioned camera that. I thought that went nicely there. So, turning on over. Um, Irene did want an image. So that's my image. Okay, so you'll see basically the image I chose is this beautiful 18th century um, portrait of a well-to-do society, young society lady. Uh, she'll be probably an aristocratic family. And she's wearing this beautiful champagne-y, mustardy gold outfit with a matching turban. Wearing turbans and sort of sultana, sultana Turkish outfits um, was very, very popular at, at this in this period. Made very popular by the young regent, uh, Prince George. And um, around her neck I've popped these little iridescent pearls, the same as I've got around here, and in the middle a lovely little piece. And that comes from, um, on gold, with a gold stone in it. And that little piece comes from, that comes from Irene, and it came in a chain of all different coloured ones. So I just cut that bit out there. Around her hat, her turban, I've put those same little iridescent flat back pearls. And they're in an almost identical matching colour to this. Um, so I did put some wadding in behind this before I, just to, so that it puffed it up a wee bit. But around here there's, there's this um, trim which I've put, which is off a cushion. And I put it all the way around there. And then I put this one on top which is white, the one underneath is cream, the top one is white, quite a fancy trim and in the middle of that um, each flower I put these little flat back pearls. Um, in this corner here I've got a lovely, um, oh what do you call it, applique, wedding applique, there it is, sitting in here, okay and then um, underneath that, ar around it, I've put this lovely bit of vintage fringing that I had in my stash. I don't know where I got it from. Maybe from a, um, from a thrift shop. Um, and it's again, it's almost identical colouring to these and to the outfit this lovely lady's wearing. So that goes all the way around there, just to add a bit more colour to it. Um, I've got underneath here I've got a, I'm, I'm rushing this through because I don't want to run out of battery or time. Underneath here I've got this beautiful um, hand crocheted, um, it's like a star shaped, flower shaped doily and that came in a one-on-one -on -one swap with um, Patricia over in Belgium, that's Pat S here on YouTube and this on top of it is a flower that I made myself with a vintage earring centre and a bit of fabric as well. The fabric the frill, which I frilled up, that's that was off a 1950 um, or 1940 um, doll dress, but it was falling apart, so I helped it. <laughs> um, this also is hand crocheted flower, beautiful, and that came from Patricia as well in that same swap. Been longing to use one of these; it's so beautiful. And I, and I've again this this was actually off a belt. So when you're in the thrift shops or op shops, charity shops, do check the belts as well. I always do. And this was a very fancy belt with um, these studded all the way up it. Um, down here I've got two little leaves. Or, no, one little leaf, sorry. Pearlized leaf. That was from Shabalicious. Lily Lineker's shop. Um, sadly, that's now closed. Well, I think it's closed now. She did announce that she was closing it, so she might still be selling a few things. And along here, underneath all this, 
there's a row of um, pearl trim right across here and there's a dangle trim here Oh, no, it's not a dangle trim, sorry, it's lovely pearlized flower trim and I've put in flat back pearls there. Oops. For some reason my camera's not going very far back. Um, down in this corner I've got a um, lovely piece of chiffon fabric with pearls and um, I've put this Kansashi flower on it in chocolate brown which matches the dark dark chocolatey brown background in the image um, and I've got two more of those pearlized leaves from Shabalicious. Um, over here I've got cut out a, doily, a smaller doily from a larger one and there's a flat back pearl there. Now across here I've got braid which is attached to this beautiful furnishing braid which has this beautiful tassel attached to it. Gorgeous, gorgeous tassel. Love it. Underneath that I've got a glass trim that's also I got from the furnishing department here locally in, well, in the city which has got amber and clear glass beads, lovely trim underneath that I've got this other one, this other trim here which I tea stained and I've put flat back pearl on each of the ends of those and underneath that I've used the point as I said on the back, the, the placemat on the back that I made for the pocket I've used that there to make the point of that Okay, so up in this corner over here, I've also got um, the same as what I've got on the other corner. Uh, it's this beautiful chiffon trim with little beads on it. I've put a, a, a pale cream Kansashi flower in that one with a diamante middle piece in it. All around it, I've put this trim here. Um, and this is a gorgeous trim. It's a, again, it's a um, home furnishing trim and I sort of twisted up the back piece instead of cutting it in case some of this came unraveled and, um, and put it all the way around so I th oh, there's, I've also got placemats here coming tea stain placemats here there's another trim underneath that as well so there's plenty of layering on this piece um, it's probably quite hard to see in one entire piece so there it is I suppose I could take it off and see if I can hold it because nine but not it is nine by nine but that actually becomes sorry for any shaking around just trying to get it off the tripod that actually becomes quite a large piece once you've done all your embellishing and your laces and everything else so there you go um, Okay, down the side, Irene wanted you to leave about an inch without doing anything on it so that she can attach it into her fabric book. Okay, and you see down here there's some of the um, placemat, that's another layer. So this one here has got one layer, two layers, three layers, four layers, five layers. Just five layers on the bottom there, so that's, that's good because it's always nice to layer. Okay, so there we go. You much see it much more plainly now, I hope. Oops, it over. I hope that doesn't get in the way. And there we are. That's the... Those lovely crochet flowers. I love that image. I think it's just beautiful. My battery may cut out at any moment. So... This is it. Anyway. I think that's all I need to show you and um, I will take you down there just a little bit, show you the edging there. Okay up here, you'll be able to see more of the detail in here. it slowly across here, back down here. Isn't that a beautiful image? And down here. 